everybody. Um, I just did a bit of school work. I'm taking a break. Um, then I'm going to look at some notes later on. But in the meantime, let's get started on this video, shall we? Oh, why isn't it playing? There you go. As the summer season had approached its end, like everywhere else, the island of Sodor had approached the autumn months. All the trees had changed from lush green to brown. And the farmers were beginning to harvest their stock ready for market. The Scarlet <laughs> Railway experienced the same thing, and the little engines were hard at work. But sometimes they will be taking bird watchers around the hills. At this time of year, bird watching is usually common, as birds migrate during the cooler months. They hope to see a very rare bird. Rusty, the little diesel, was fascinated by this hobby, as when he pulled the maintenance train to inspect the line, he would often see birds popping out from the trees. Aww, I it's never liked peaceful, birds. he would often say. At the sheds, Rusty was telling the other engines what type of birds he had seen. The other engines were amazed at Rusty's knowledge of it all. But Duncan didn't care. Of course Who cares he about setting up birds? They're just birds, Rusty huffed and said. There are many birds that you don't get to see that often, Duncan. Sometimes a rare one. Pah, a bird's a bird, replied Duncan crossly. No matter how rare it is. What a silly engine. The next day, the fat controller came to the yards to see Duncan. Duncan, it's your turn to take the bird watchers to their spot in the mountains. Bird watchers? Pah! I would rather take the maintenance train than that. That is Rusty's job, and you're the only engineer, so you'll have to take them. So Duncan, oh, Duncan will get over it. Meanwhile, Rusty was taking the maintenance train to a piece of line that was to be checked over. He was still cross with Duncan the previous night, but he tried his best not to think about it. As he parked the train at the spot, he was looking over the countryside and trying to spot some birds. Then he noticed something high above the sky. Bus my buffers, he cried. What is that? Rusty couldn't make it out, but it looks like it has wings. It's a is bird. that a bird? He asked while trying to make out what his bird looked like. I don't know, replied his driver. I but I've never seen a bird lighter. up that high before. Then we might have seen a rare one. We better tell the bird watchers replied Rusty excitedly. But what about the workmen? said his driver. The foreman overheard the conversation earlier and said, Don't worry, it'll be a way to fix this part of the line up. You could go on ahead, he smiled. Rusty's so they uncoupled like, the train and Rusty sped away to the bird watchers. Rusty's like, yay! Duncan arrived at the bird watchers' spot as they clambered out of the coaches and get ready to set up. Duncan was still grumbling. All they're just doing is set up birds. Ha! Just then, Rusty pulled in, tooting his horn. Please be quiet, you'll scare the birds away, replied one of the bird watchers. Sorry, whispered Rusty, but I think I spotted a rare bird. It had flown as high as the trees. Really? What was it, Rusty? A pigeon? replied Duncan with a snark. Rusty just ignored him. You could come to our spot. It's just up the line. Splendid, replied the bird watcher. But Duncan just groaned. I was looking forward to going back to the sheds, he growled. But Rusty just ignored him and he rolled away as Duncan followed suit, still grumbling. At Rusty's spot, the bird watchers set themselves up ready to see this rare bird. Duncan simmered crossly. This is ridiculous. I'm heading off. No, wait, Duncan, called Rusty. You should see this rare bird. As Duncan rolled his eyes, Rusty's driver noticed it in the sky. There it is, he said. The bird watchers soon observed Rusty's bird. It's a hand glider. But after what they had seen, they were looking disappointed. We playing a trick on us, replied a bird watcher crossly. A trick? No, 
I saw a rare bird. Hmm. And I bet that a human is now classified as a bird. A human? Replied Rusty, feeling very confused. What human? That hang glider. This whole time was that Rusty's bird was nothing more but a hang glider. Duncan laughed. Rusty sighed. I'm sorry, he said sadly. Well, you didn't know what it was, and we're only trying to help. But with how much time we've wasted, who knows what bird we missed. Just then they heard a screech somewhere within the trees, and soon a big white shape came looming from one of the trees and flat down to land on Rusty's cab roof. The bird watchers were surprised. So was Duncan. What? What is it? whispered Rusty. It's a snowy owl, replied one of the bird watchers excitedly. But I thought I was only coming at night, replied Duncan. Well, owls do come out at night, Duncan. A snow owl is different. They hunt during the daylight and usually spend most of their lives in the remote Arctic. And for the first time, Duncan was impressed by a bird. The bird watchers observed the owl and some are taking pictures of it. Then the owl flapped away out of sight. Well, Rusty, it seems you had led us to a great spot after all. Everyone laughed and agreed. I'll take back what I said. Bird watching sounds amazing once you see and know something like that snowy owl. Indeed, Duncan, agreed Rusty. That was really cute. I'm sorry this video is so short, guys, but I only have a little bit of a break and then I gotta go back to doing some schoolwork and looking at some notes. So I'll see you on the next video. Adios, everybody.